Today's video is all about keeping amplifiers cool. Now, if you've ever built any amplifiers, you'll find that keeping the thing cool is one of the biggest issues. Do you go out and spend a huge fortune on an enormous heat sink? One way you can keep costs down is to use a smaller heat sink and cool it with a fan. Initially, certainly for me, I'm sure for many people, that reeks of noise and problems. And until I started experimenting with this myself, I would have agreed 100% because most fans are noisy. Now, the first thing to consider is the actual controller. Now, there's two here. This one we're going to get rid of because I can't make this one work. Now, whether it's because it's faulty, obviously, I've got no way of testing whether that's faulty or not. Small wonder you are having trouble. The machine, sir, is foreign. But it's all controlled by pushing this button thousands of times, and it's far too clever for its own use. So we're going to get rid of that one. And this one is analog. Yes, analog. These are very cheap and actually very good. I can't tell you that much about this because obviously we don't have any circuits. The small chip that you can see somewhere around about there has got no markings on it whatsoever. And there's a couple of transistors here and the main transistor is here. Apart from that, there's a potentiometer and a switch and other support components. But the thing that's in its favour is it really is good and works really well, as I'm going to show you. This is a very simple little rig that I've put together. It's actually a load resistor of 8 ohms, 2 4 ohms in series. And here I've just put the sensor under this screw here to so we can detect the temperature of the heatsink and this is going to plug into the little module. Now the module needs 12 volts DC to work. Now if you haven't got a convenient source of 12 volts you can't do much better than to buy one of these. They, they are ridiculously low cost and this will provide all the power you need. It's simply AC in here and 12 volts out here. It's a switch mode power supply, universal AC input anywhere in the world you can use this and it gives up to 420 milliamps of current at 12 volts. I've used lots of these for all sorts of things and they're really good. Now for our test purposes, I'm just using a simple 12 volt fan. It's a relatively large one and not one that I would actually recommend for cooling amplifiers, but it's big and it's going to be easy for you to see rather than a tiny miniature fan that's going to make a lot of noise. This is the fans that I've used on my latest project and I'm going to show you it in more detail later. But these are super. They're, they're not grossly expensive. I think it was about 22 New Zealand dollars. But that's the magic word. They just make virtually no sound at all. And the fact that in this project, most of the time it will be running at about 20% of its rated power anyway. So noise is virtually zero. I should be running this module of 12 volts I'm going to heat the resistors with another supply of various currents to get the various amounts of heat we need. Well, we're nearly ready to go. Um, it looks a bit of a bird's nest here, but very simply, I brought the meter in here and we're going to look at temperature. I've got that set to a thermal couple here and it's just held in place 
buy a bit of blue tack or white tack in this case. Now, but just before we start, I pointed out this switch here. And in one position, it basically switches on at 30 degrees Celsius and gradually increases to full speed up to 50 degrees. So the fan ramps up, starts up on a slow level at 30 degrees and gradually as the temperature rises the fan speed or the voltage going to the fan increases to maximum at 50 degrees and stays there and obviously the, the, the same is true in reverse it gradually ramps down and switches off at um, about 30 degrees now when the switch is in the other position you have control over it completely you can adjust this blue potentiometer so that it would come on as low as 15 degrees or as, or as high as 50 degrees and the full speed range in that mode is 35 degrees to 70 so in other words from 15 to 35 the fan is slow and after that it gradually ramps up to 70 when it's running at full speed Right, the whole thing is running now and I'm heating the heat sink up, you can see on the meter. There are, and the fan has just come on. And it actually came on at 29 degrees. I don't think the fan is actually going to cool this because I've got 180 watts being dissipated on that heat sink. But you can see with the fan just sitting there, it's maintaining the temperature at 33, 34 degrees. Whereas if I take the fan off, the temperature is rapidly going up, as you can see. We're in the lounge now, and we're looking at the project in, in real life, so to speak. Now, I've just switched the amplifier on, and this is showing the positive rail and the negative rail, the input selector and the power on off switch. Now you may recall originally I had a big toroid in here and in this area I had the smoothing rectifier block. Well I've now removed that and I've replaced it with the original 60 volt plus or minus 60 volts switch mode power supply that was overheating in the original case if you recall and i've got round it by putting this this is the little fan that i was telling you about earlier the um, low noise one so what we've got here at the moment we've got three fans on here the two on the back onto the main heat sink and this one on top of the switch mode power supply. There is the little module, well, another one just like it, that um, I was showing you earlier on in the video. I've mounted the sensor actually onto the mounting of that FET. And it's, it picks up the temperature variations beautifully on there. There is the little AC to DC 12 volt module again that I showed you earlier. I want to heat the thing up so you can see the fans come on. Now I should be using music from my computer which the fan in the computer makes a hundred times more noise than the fan in here with all three fans running. So what I'm going to do is heat it up Turn off the computer quickly before the fans have cooled down and let you hear the lack, well, the lack of noise that these fans make. computer's gone off now and as you can hear 
There's no sound at all, apart from the ambience of the room, and the fan will go off any second, I would think. And it stopped. I don't know whether you heard any difference there, but I got the camera literally about six inches away from the fan. And if it didn't come over very well, bearing in mind there was three fans running there and I certainly couldn't hear anything. I was originally going to run the fan on the power supply separately to the fans on the heat sinks. But I thought, well, the power supply itself won't heat up until you start drawing a lot of current from it, i.e. when you're playing it loud, and the heat sinks on the um, FETs are going to heat up virtually proportionally. So in the end, I decided to, to run all three fans off the, the one controller with the sensor on the heat sink. And it works absolutely superbly. And I've got it set now. So playing music is what I would call a general just 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 a general background level the fans don't come on at all and it maintains at about 30 degrees c which is well in some countries it's below ambient but in new zealand the room ambient temperature would normally be about 22 degrees celsius so it's you can just feel the heat sinks warm to touch under those conditions and it's only really when you start playing it at quite high level that the fans will come on and it actually switches off between tracks. It, it, it responds that fast and I've never yet had the fans running flat out. And as far as I'm concerned, the sound is the zero sound from the fans. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, if you can hear a sound now, it's because my computer's sitting on the floor down there and the fans on there do make a noise. You can hear it 10 feet away. But as, as well, can you see? Now, you probably can't see, but the fans at the moment haven't come on because I'm, it's just sitting under quiescent conditions.